Every baby resembles God. Human life is, is be, it's a mystery beyond us, really, that we're all made to God's image. And we can't even begin to understand what that means even. And yet that baby is that close to God. Of all the things that God made, that little baby just conceived is of more value to God than anything else. So I thought about starting a home for unwed mothers. Let me just tell you about the type of girl who comes here. She comes from no family probably doesn't know who her father is. Her mother might be on drugs or in jail. Now this is not every girl, but a good number of the girls. She might not have lived in a home, a house, maybe ever, or just as a small child. They probably have been on drugs. They might be uh, 15 and an alcoholic very addicted to different drugs. They've wandered from one place to another. They've been hurt, they've been abused, and they've been abandoned. And that's the girl that comes and knocks on our door and says, will you take me in? And um, example of a very um, sad case with a girl. It was the middle of winter, a very rainy, windy day and I went and opened the door and here was a young girl she had long brown hair and she ha was holding a baby and the baby was wrapped in a towel and she was wet she'd been out in the rain I remember telling her now you think about it whether you want to come here or not. We told her about the rules and so forth. And um, give us a call. Let us know what you think about it. And if we don't hear from you, we'll call you. So I said, would you give me your phone number? So I don't have a phone number. Could I just come here? And I said, how about noon? Could I come earlier? I said, you tell me when you'd like to come. And she said, as early as possible tomorrow morning. How about eight o'clock? I said, yes. Eight o'clock, I was at the house, and she came. And here was that girl again, wetter than ever, thin, dark circles under her eyes, and the baby looked the same way. We all saw her and brought her right in, and I said, where on earth have you been? And she said, I slept under the Center Street Bridge last night. Well, needless to say, we were all terribly upset. And the house mother, house mother took such good care of her. And the next time I saw her, which was probably four or five days, she looked so much better. She was still very thin. And uh, the girl had nice clothes because we get donations of clothes. And she had nice clothes on. And the baby had a uh, little girl, the cutest little clothes on. I can still remember that little bonnet. And uh, the girl had still that gray pallor, but she had a smile. And said how happy she was. Just kept saying, thank you for taking me in. Uh, how long can I stay? Do I have to leave today? And we said, you stay here as long as you want. This is your home. I'm just fortunate to be in this situation. I am just very fortunate to do it. I had no idea when I was ordained that I'd be doing work like this. I didn't know. It just sort of developed. I'm very, very fortunate to do something I love so much.